Can you guess how much money the U.S. government spends on science? So if this $100 bill... Whoa, okay, Adam. Yeah, we're doing pretty well here at Howtown. <laughs> Let's say this is all the money the U.S. government spent in 2023. $22 of that went to Social Security, $13 went to military spending, and $3 went to research. But if you take out military research, you're left with $1.50. Of that $150, cents, 78 cents goes to studying human health, 18 cents to space, 10 cents to energy, 5 cents to natural resources in the environment. There's a few cents for other things. And then 22 cents goes to what they call general science, which is kind of just like, what's up with the universe? <laughs> it's a lot of like physics, chemistry, basic research. Then the next question is, what do we get out of this? And of course, I would say, Human curiosity is one of the most beautiful things about our species. Doesn't need to justify itself. Something that I would want our society to invest in, right? Mm -hmm. But I know that not everyone feels that way. So I tried to find some studies that sort of look at just the basic economics. One study found that every dollar fifty that you put into research ends up generating two to three dollars in extra economic output. And right now the Trump administration is planning to slash that investment. They want to cut all research by a quarter, and the NSF specifically by more than half. Came across another study that asked, what would happen if we cut research funding by 25%? How much would the GDP fall? It fell by 3.81%. Nearly as big of a drop as we saw during the Great Recession. Another way to put that is, investing just a buck fifty out of our $100 budget now ends up lifting GDP by nearly 4% over time. 